Hey, good morning. Gary here from GT Alaskan Adventures. So today I'm going to do a little video about uh, installing some Bora two-inch wheel spacers. These uh, I ordered them and got them shipped in from Amazon, and I've had them for a couple weeks now. So we're going to get around to putting them on there finally. So just kind of want to have a little bit extra stability. It's been a couple times the tractor was a little on a tippy side, and last thing I want to do is uh, have me or my wife put it on its side and screw this cab up so okay so uh went ahead and uh oh well, went ahead and loosened up the all the uh lug nuts or bolts i guess they're not really lug nuts on both sides of the tractor so far this that way i don't have to have it 100 uh, percent on the ground to bust them loose <clears throat> so i got the floor jack under here we're gonna try to Mostly concentrate on getting the this side here up off the ground. And yeah, I'm going to want to keep that other tire on the ground. If nothing else, I might have to lower the jack a little bit. So, um, we get to taking that off the rest of the way as soon as I remember where I put my wrench. Okay. The mystery of the missing wrench is solved. Some of you are wondering. I do not have uh, anything in these tires. Thought about it, but uh, I really don't know. Kind of on the fence about doing it, so I don't think I I will. Um, to my knowledge, nobody up here locally does the, uh, oh, the rim guard stuff that you see so many so many people have videos about. I think if that was available, I'd probably try it. Okay, got all the bolts out of there. Not too bad, pretty clean. Probably gonna grab something and uh, we're gonna clean this surface up real good. And then uh, for me, I'm also gonna put some anti-seize on this here surface just to prevent that wheel spacer from welding itself on there. Okay. There, we're just gonna kind of wipe this up down. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to be real careful I don't get my any in the threads there <clears throat> or in the opening of, the, of where the bolt's going to go in there. Alrighty, so It's a different size socket, so let's get the right size here. Okay, so we got the right socket finally, and uh, <clears throat> got my torque wrench. I got it set for 50 pounds. I just checked the manual. The manual is uh, 89 foot pounds, and from what I understand, when you put these wheel spacers on, <clears throat> you torque them, these bolts and your, your, uh, your uh, lug nuts or your bolts when you go to put them back on to the same foot pounds 89 pounds on all of them so so I'm gonna size this up here and uh, <clears throat> put a little thread locker on them just to 
make sure they don't come loose on me. And it's the blue thread locker stuff you're supposed to use, Permatex. Okay, they're all in their hand tight. And we're gonna go ahead and torque them to 50 pounds. <clears throat> and then I'll finish it to 89 foot pounds. Actually, I'm just gonna just kind of snug them a little first. Just kind of alternating. You want to go all around the circle. Okay. Maybe we'll just uh, let's go. I'm gonna go to seventy next. So there's eighty. 88 89 Okay Should be good. So I'm going to put the wheel back on and uh, I'll take a wire brush to these off camera and let's clean the threads out, make sure there's no gunk in them. Okay, we got them threads all cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead and put the wheel back on. One thing that's kind of cool about these, I guess I should mention, is uh, they give you that same little hub. Is uh, mimics the hub that's on your tractor already. So on the back side, it self-locates on it. Then you see me put the, the new bolts in there, whatever, everything lined up super great. So that will indicate on the inside of your hub here and uh, allow you to get it down there. I'm sure this might be ugly, but here goes nothing. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get a light over here so I can see to line them up a little better. These things right here are the coolest thing ever. Uh, new inventions. Oh, I got it for Christmas this year. I got I got a couple other ones, but. Rechargeable, um, it's magnet, magne magnetic, so it sticks to stuff. Um, really pretty handy. All right, so where's the holes at? There we go, we got one started. Okay, let's try this again. Some difficulties getting them started, but I just don't think I had the wheel lined up right. And apparently I still don't. What is the deal? Not 
Well, we got three started, but seem to be having difficulties with two. Not sure here. Definitely don't want to cross through it. Okay, we got them all started. Just always kind of blurry if it goes in a little difficult. I've crossed through too many things in my days. I don't care to do that on a tractor. Okay, so we got them all bottomed out. Just going to tighten them by hand. And yes, I'm using a 3 8 extension and uh, from half to three-eighths with a three-eighths socket because I don't have a long enough <clears throat> this is the only half inch extension I got as you can see that that won't work so, so let's back this back down to 50 pounds Okay, so it's kind of going around, alternating, getting them snug first here. Gotta be getting close. Okay, finally. around to make sure I didn't miss one. Okay, now we're going to go up. That was 50. So you go to 70. Okay. And then the last one, 89. Okay. All torqued down. Stuff out of the way. And we're going to lower her down and take the other side off. Okay, so real quick, thought we'd do a little comparison here. Get a uh, good side view there. That's the side that's not done, gonna work on. And that's the side that has a two inch bore wheel spacer installed. Quite a bit of difference you can kind of see too when you look back here. But, uh, how much of that actually you can see so looking pretty sweet now I'll probably be running my tires into stuff 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get going on popping this other side off. Okay, so you see me struggling with trying to get them uh, bolts back in the rim. And uh, I think what it is is just like super close tolerances. You know, your holes and then your your holes on your your spacer. I mean, I don't think anything is wrong, but I think what, what was happening is the, the weight of the tire. Uh, maybe this is just a fraction undersized than the than the wheel is and so I'd get one or two started in super easy but like it would be I think what was happening I ended up jacking the tractor up so I could spin the wheels all the way around and once I did that I just sprung them up to the top the one that was giving me problems and they went in super easy so so shame on me that was the problem for the whole time I guess is, is I just needed to get that that weed off of that and then you know have it rest on the existing uh, bolt that I already had in and then it freed itself up so anyways I'm gonna get to uh, tighten them the rest of the way so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video um, hope it was informative for you maybe you learned something uh, it's not super difficult process basically if you change a tire on a car before you probably can handle this job it's uh, everything's pretty cut and dry so uh, I might have got some chuckles with me trying to get them uh, bolts in there. That was a little cumbersome at times, but uh, I think it was the whole deal is I just needed to get the whole tractor off the ground and roll the whole rim, and then they located much easier. And, but first side, I struggled through it, and we got them in there. Second side, I just couldn't get a couple of them to go, and, and discovered that was the problem. So 
But anyways, uh, thanks for watching today's video. Um, if you liked what you've seen here today, if you could go ahead and hit the like button for me, that helps my channel grow and helps uh, my videos be seen. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, someday I hope to reach that magical goal of a thousand subscribers, uh, making good headway, but uh, not, not quite there yet. So if you haven't yet subscribed and you enjoy my videos, I would love to have you as a subscriber. subscriber so thanks again for staying tuned. I appreciate it. You all have a great day.